Former President Trump says he is the target of the Justice Department's investigation into efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. And that means the former president could soon be indicted on charges related to the Capitol siege. That's in addition to the charges he's already been indicted on regarding keeping top secret documents at Mar-a-Lago. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House following it all. Ben. Eden, Calvin, as you were talking about, this is the second target letter Trump has received from special counsel Jack Smith. This one on the insurrection. It is still not clear what charges he may face or if anyone else also received a target letter. Former President Donald Trump says he's the target of a probe into efforts to overturn the 2020 election, a part of the Justice Department's criminal investigation into the deadly Capitol attack on January 6. In his statement, Trump claims the DOJ is giving him a very short four days to report to the grand jury, which almost always means an arrest and indictment. Any comments on the target letter that no comment by special counsel Jack Smith Wednesday, who Trump says sent him a letter for the second time as he's already facing 37 federal charges related to the mishandling of classified documents. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy accuses the Biden administration of playing politics as Trump is the 2024 frontrunner for the Republican nomination. Weaponized government to go after their number one opponent. But the White House pushed back behind the podium saying the president respects the Department of Justice, their independence. Uh, he has been very, um, very steadfast on making sure that the rule of law comes back in this administration. As South Florida Democratic lawmakers also weighed in. There's little doubt that former President Trump was very specifically and granularly involved in trying to overturn the results of the legitimate presidential election that he lost. Trump says he was notified on Sunday, which means he has about until Thursday to report to the grand jury. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.